This is Jonathan Levy, the architect for the new Dearborn 6 through 12 STEM Middle High School for the City of Boston. I'm very excited to share with you some of my thoughts that went into the design of the new school. It will be one of the very first of its type in the nation. What you're looking at now is an overview from the sky of the way the building fits into the neighborhood. This is a very important part of the Dearborn's new approach to education. Its ability to be part of the neighborhood scene and to reach out to its many community partners. Along Greenville Street, there's a glass base which allows insight into the new media lab, art spaces, and the community-oriented functions of the Learning Commons beyond, which we'll look at in more detail in a moment. The new building is set back deeply from Greenville Street. This allows it to align with the existing residential neighborhood and also provides a space for buses to pull up without snarling traffic. On Winthrop Street, which you see here, the exploratories, the places for science, education, and exploration are the centerpiece of the building's facade. The new entrance will open out like a welcoming arm to the Dearborn students who will be engaged in a new type of 21st century learning. The main entrance is up several short flights of steps and is highly accessible using a ramp from Winthrop Street. Looking down into the recessed sunlit terrace, we can see the Fab Lab workspace, which opens out from the maker spaces themselves. Into the vestibule and the main gathering space before entering into the Learning Commons atrium, we can see a series of dashboard panels that describe the workings of the school which are so important to students' understanding of real-world application of their newfound skills. The main space of the new school will be the Learning Commons atrium, with its cafeteria opening out into a broad terrace, which will also include artifacts taken from the old Dearborn school, including the famous caryatid pear. The outdoor terrace will be a place of learning and of display of student work. Off of the atrium, there are many different common spaces shared by the students, including health alternatives such as the dance studio and physical exercise, as well as music, which is down the corridor. This is the Media Center and the Information Technology Laboratory, where the students will explore making computer-driven animations and architectural models like the one that's created here. Right in front of us in the main space which uh, thematizes the entire school is the fabrication laboratory which opens out through broad doors into the learning commons. If we take a trip up the stairs, just a moment, we're at the second level now which is the place where the 11th and 12th graders will mainly concentrate their studies. Unlike many schools, the gymnasium at the New Dearborn is embedded right in the center of school life, with large windows opening into it from the various balconies of the upper levels of the school. An important new kind of education will be led by a new kind of teaching, with teacher offices in glass enclosed spaces which are highly visible to the entire school population. The typical classroom has very tall ceilings in order to allow full day lighting. Going back out into the atrium balcony, we can walk down the corridor. Every student will have their own locker associated with their particular classrooms. And then, as I mentioned to you, this, the core of the facades of the building are the science exploratories seen here from the inside. Again, there are tall ceiling heights to capture large amounts of daylight with glass walls so that everything that goes on inside can be displayed to the entire school community.
The Learning Commons also includes a series of satellite, what are called cohort commons, for each grade configuration. Here you can see one satellite commons or cohort commons with its project-based learning work area overlooking the atrium and its communal office suite with conference areas and workspaces for teachers and places for families to come and learn about the school. This is a cross-section through the entire building. We can see the main interior space with its suspended balconies and the mechanical systems which will be highly visible. At the fourth level is an outdoor classroom which will allow students to experiment in the daylight with botany and other kinds of outdoor based learning activities. Going back inside we arrive at the uppermost cohort commons for the sixth and seventh graders. This level will also have its science exploratories paired in front of you. A view then up to the skylights which will flood light into the atrium all the way down to the learning commons at the lowest level. Finally, let's take a step back. Another cross-sectional view showing the flexible use of the learning commons for both assembly and student configurations. This will be a new kind of school as different from a traditional school as a library is from a courthouse. A school for the future for the students of today.